everybody. So I am just about to stretch some linen on a recycled stretcher bar that I picked up, oh, it'll be a year ago now. I've been meaning to do something with it. I often go to the local recycling center or the tip and grab just old stretcher bars or old paintings that have been destroyed and then I take the canvas off and I reuse them because I figure why not. So I just wanted to show you the process of what I do uh, to make new canvas without hurting the environment. Here I've got the old stretcher bar and I've removed everything off it. Actually there's, I lied, there's a few little bits on here. I'll take that off in a minute. And then I've cut a piece of linen with the primed side down underneath and cut it with about, I'd say I usually allow about six centimeters around the perimeter to have enough. Now I'm pretty happy that I've got that cut the right size and I've taken all the old staples out. And um, you will need a canvas stretcher. Now mine, I've lost the little spring in the middle probably because I drive around so much, but I actually think it doesn't matter. It still does the job. And of course, your trusty staple gun. Let's get to it. So I start at one end and just, sometimes I fold over, double depends how I'm feeling. Um, sometimes I, I won't do this because it's a little bit fiddly, and, but it actually can look a bit neater in the end result. So I just start by folding an edge over and I'm just going to put one staple in there. Now that's just to hold that in place and then I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I have that staple in that side. I'm gonna come over to the opposite side. And first of all, just pull it semi firm underneath. Then exactly opposite that, I'll fold it over and then I get my little stretcher device. And I'm not gonna to go too hard at this point because I don't want it all to pucker. And then I'll just pull that firmly and repeat the process on the opposite side. Now I'm going to go here and here and do the same thing. Oh, that's gonna be pretty boring to watch me do that. It takes a long time to zigzag across. So what I will do is place the camera on and do it in high speed motion for you. Okay, so I've got all the way around uh, and left the corners so far just making sure that I've evenly stretched across opposite sides so we don't get any uh, puckering or anything. And now I do the corners. Now because I frame all of my paintings, I tend not to use the, the wider gallery canvas. Um, I don't worry too much about how neat the corners are. However, if you are not going to frame it, you have to pay a bit more attention to how that is and we'll have a look at that now and I think every artist might do it a different way and I definitely do it a different way depending on what mood I'm in because um, it doesn't it doesn't really matter as long as it's stretching. Here we have an open corner and what I tend to do is just make sure that that corner there is folded across and it's nice and tight because I don't want to get any puckering in the actual corner of the canvas and I'll just um, pop a staple in there. Then I fold it back over this way and do the same thing here. 
and then with a little bit of fiddling so <laughs> it doesn't always go as planned then I get that sort of shape there now again if you wanted a, a, a thick gallery canvas then I would probably have less canvas than this and you would get a need of folds you'd, you'd simply just do that and that but then because I've got a thin a thin stretcher bar and uh, it is going to be framed and I also like to have extra linen in case and it's happened to me before I suddenly changed my mind and I don't want this painting on this stretcher bar and I want to go bigger than I have the extra fabric or if somebody wants the painting but they don't want it on the stretcher bars it's good to have a bit of extra so that when you're removing it you're not going to damage the actual painting so that's my reasons for doing it this way but like I said I think most artists will have their own way and their own personal reasons as long as it does the job if any um, staples are hanging out like that Tap. sometimes I don't press hard enough and then I just do that on every corner and so there you have your beautifully recycled linen canvas and it's nice and tight you want it nice and tight like a drum now my um sometimes I have my linen in storage and it does occasionally get a little bit um creased so if your canvas does have any creases or your linen then then what I always do, and it works, ama it's amazing. And if you uh, actually store a painting and it gets a little dent in it, which can be a disaster if it goes straight through, but this will actually fix it. And you just simply spray some water on the back, just a little bit. And as that dries, the linen gets rid of any of any bumps it had it gets really nice and tight and you can repeat that if the weather is hot um, and I find that works really well now what I will show you in the next video is then options of how to treat the linen depending on what I'm going to paint and what kind of effect I'm going to get so just before I go I wanted to talk to you about why I like to use linen as opposed to canvas I do use canvas because it meets a need and a price point and sometimes contemporary art looks better on it but I love linen for so many reasons one of them is it is just amazing to paint on and almost once you go down the linen road it's very hard to go back on the canvas one however it is a little bit more pricey what is also great for it is that I hear that making it is better for the environment um, so that's that's a good one all around and in terms of your painting lasting several lifetimes which is that's what we want because let's face it our artworks that are special and dear to us we want to be able to hand them down to the next generation so the linen itself will actually maintain the color of the oil paint for a longer period of time it's just the nature of the material so the painting will stay in a much better condition the colors will stay true to life for my lifetime our children's lifetimes and probably the next one so that's good news uh, the other reason that I like to use this particular linen is sometimes canvas is it's more brittle and it if you take it off a stretcher bar and you roll it up and then you frame it again I have had the experience where it has torn linen it's it doesn't tear it's somehow oilier I don't know if that's the right word but it's less prone to tearing and I can take it on and off a stretcher bar and in and out of a frame several times and it really never has any damage so there you have it anyway thanks for joining me on my little camps preparation I am going to be starting some online classes with how I personally do things how I prepare my canvas and my practice and just some fun projects coming up for you to do at home. Anyway, love you, bye. Mm -hmm.